Hi, I'm Patrick, the Laundry Evangelist. Welcome to my laundry room. A lot of people ask me, how do you set up your laundry room? Today I'm gonna to show you. These are the products that I use. I know it looks like a lot, but once you set it up, you're gonna have everything you need and it's gonna last a really long time. So let's get started. First and foremost are my laundry flakes. I formulated myself. They're the most gentle product I could find on the market. They're safe to wash every single thing you use. And what's great about it, this is how much you use. Use one tablespoon for an entire load of laundry. The bag lasts a long time and your clothes come out like amazing. The next thing I have is sport detergent. I talk about sport detergent from the laundress constantly. The sport detergent from the laundress is the only thing I've ever found that completely cleans your active wear or your techno driven fibers. So anything that's polyester, be it an undershirt or lingerie or athleisure, the sport detergent brings it back to life. It makes it fresh and new and sweet smelling. I love it. All purpose bleach alternative. Anybody who knows me knows that I love this almost as much as I love my life. I use all purpose bleach alternative for everything. If you follow in the videos, you're going to see it over and over. So go ahead and get the big bottle. The signature detergent. The thing I love about the signature detergent is it's your basic. It's your go-to when you need a liquid detergent. When I'm going to throw some clothes in the wash and I'm not entirely sure what to use, I know I can use the signature detergent because I know it's always safe. The next on my list is the darks detergent. The darks detergent is the signature detergent with the addition of some color guard. What I love about this is when I wash my black, it's going to come out just as black and rich as when it went in, except it's going to be a little cleaner. So I love the darks detergent. The Labo detergent. <sighs> Centol 33. Um, if you could have a love affair with laundry detergent, I kind of think it would be this one. It's what I use whenever I wash my dress shirts and every single time I put on a shirt, I'm reminded at how much I love the Labo Santal 33. It's kind of an indulgence that I get to enjoy sort of every single day. There's crease release. Oh well, yeah, crease release. What I love about crease release is when I've ironed a shirt or when I've pressed a suit or a pair of wool trousers and I've worn them all day, at the end of the day, you know, there's wrinkles where I've worn them or where I've sat or whatever. I spray with a little crease release, run my hands across them. It's as good as new and I can hang it back in the closet. One of the cores of stain solution is the stain bar and the stain brush. This is a horsehair brush. It's safe enough to scrub even cashmere. And the wash and stain bar from the laundress, it gets out 95% of the stains. I use it all the time. This is the thing I replace most often. Fortunately, it's the smallest thing out here. And then the magic three. These are the three things that you will see me go to over and over and over. Rubbing alcohol, it's in a spray bottle because I use it that much. It's great in a spray bottle because it makes it so much easier to use and so much faster. Vodka. No, it's not to drink. Although whenever you're filling up the bottle, if you pour yourself a glass, you pour yourself a glass. And then my all time favorite, vinegar and water. Vinegar and water is the thing that I go to and reach for all the time. It's just plain white vinegar mixed with water. It's a 50-50 ratio. Honestly, I can't tell how much you'll use it. If you watch the videos, you'll see how much I use it. Last, but certainly not least, are my stain cloths. I have to have stain cloths because I put these under every single stain before I go to treat it because it keeps the stain from moving through to the other fabric. Plus they're very absorbent, they're terry cloth. So they're gonna help absorb the stain, they're gonna help in your stain treating process, and they're gonna keep the stain from running through to the back side of the fabric or onto your ironing board, which is what I typically treat on because I have a small laundry room. So those are the things you need. If there's anything you think of that I haven't mentioned, go ahead and mention it or drop us an email. But thanks so much for watching and have a great day.